Hey guys, so I'm back in the room. I took a bath um, to soak. It says to soak like three to four times, like, but I don't have that much time <laughs> to soak in three to four times a day. But I'm sweating now, but I need to sweat because I have a lot of water weight, if you guys can see. I had to take off my rings because I was starting to get really swollen. So swollen, so I'm just letting it sweat out. But I'm over here pumping, you know, showing a little bit because <laughs> I don't want to get, you know, check out my OnlyFans. <laughs> my story of having labor i don't know if i mentioned it before earlier but it was crazy because i've been three centimeters since last monday which was the i'll put it right here <laughs> monday on the you'll see like on the previous vlog my 36 weeks i was already three centimeters dilated so i'm over here like yes like we're gonna get the ball rolling the raspberry tea leaf tea works and i still have some for the menstrual cramps and stuff which i already started bleeding great because the raspberry leaf tea they say like every time that you have kids you're gonna bleed more and more but i'm like the raspberry leaf tea got my and clutch right and so my arms are tired and the dates work too because i was already thinned out by wednesday i was four centimeters and 60 percent effaced face which means like how thin the cervix is and then dilation is how open it is so four centimeters would probably be like that right and then thinness which is like something like that i'll post pictures right here to kind of or you can look it up and see like visuals of like drawings not the real thing went to the hospital and i had um, my levels elevated on friday that will also be in the other vlog where i talk more about it saturday which was yesterday they were like oh since you already had higher levels we think we're just gonna induce you look weird i'm tired i went through a lot yesterday but long story short okay <laughs> what happened was i had an nst appointment saturday morning the nst was like meh and they're like you know what we talked to the high risk we're just gonna admit you to get induced today is the day and i was like yay i could have waited till monday which is labor day which is crazy labor on labor day which is tomorrow now today's sunday and like i was like but i would prefer it to be today just because being a mom, the kids start school, babe has to go back to work, you know? And I mean, the kids already started school, but they had school, right? The week. And so they were like, yeah, well, you're gonna, you're gonna get induced today. So I was like, okay, bet. And every hour that I already had been induced, I was on the highest levels of Pitocin, which is what they give you to induce because that, like, that's what our body makes naturally to dilate the cervix. I wasn't dilating. So I kept getting frustrated and i was like bruh how am i not dilating how am i not dilating every hour and i was like i've been dilated for a few days now like what the fudge <laughs> i was walking around i was doing everything like i was even jumping i did the freaking baby mama dance on tiktok and it was like why 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 am i not dilating so i started getting more frustrated and like so they kept asking me if i wanted them to break my water which tip for mamas is like when your water breaks it hurts more because now you have no cushion in your tummy it's just your muscles literally so things do go faster when your water breaks and that's why they say like once your water breaks you need to go to the hospital right because you could get an infection like that's what protects the baby so if you're in the hospital and your water breaks it just better um because you you can get like on antibiotics and stuff like that so i was like I kept pull it, putting it off. I was like, no, let's just try to get my body moving. Like, I believe in my body, right? <laughs> but I wasn't dilating. So at the end, the nurse was like, so the only thing that's going to help is breaking your water. And I was like, okay, I've been thinking about it. We tried everything. Let's break my water. F it. She's like, but are you sure? And I'm like, yes, I'm sure. I'm sure, yeah. Like, I know. And so, like, it was cute because they kept asking me if I was sure because, like, they didn't want to deter my thoughts and, like, what I was thinking, what I wanted. And I was like, no, I've already been thinking, like, yeah, we can break my water. We break my water. And, whoo, we broke my water at 6.30 p.m. I, I made a freaking video clip for Tevin even and I was already my water already had broke and I was having contractions like every two minutes so I hurried up made that video like right after a contraction and then right when I stopped recording that video I got another contraction my mom got here because I told babe to go like go ahead go with the kids like we're gonna take a minute I haven't dilated right but then he called me and he was like babe do you want me to go and I was like hold on hold on and my mom was here at this time like they switched I was like hold on 
and then he's like i'm going i'm going luckily my sister was there with the kids and so he's like so he got a ride back and he had my brother-in-law freaking drop him off at the corner of the hospital because he didn't want my brother-in-law to like have to go through the whole shebang right and so he ran over bushes and stuff and was like i'm coming i'm coming the security guards like hey 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 because it was game day so there was a lot of security guards out he's like here's my sticker here's my here's my thing i gotta go my wife's having the baby and so they let him pass he was running all the way to labor and delivery and then once he gets here i see him and i'm just like going through my contractions and he's like it's okay babe it's okay my mom too she was like rubbing my back which the nurses were helping me too like while my husband went to go with the kids my mom wasn't here yet they were so sweet like the nurse she she braided my hair because when i had done it it was really so loose the midwife she was like rubbing my back and stuff it was really nice and then yeah when my mom got here my mom started doing that and, like was, they were like all there attentive and taking care of me so i was having contractions so 6 30 right they broke my water and then they're like, because they're like, just just let it happen. Just let it. And I think I was starting to tense up because I was starting to get pissed while my body wasn't freaking dilating. So then once my husband's here, it's kind of like let myself feel it more. And I was like, just not trying to push, but let the, you know, the contraction go into my cervix. You know what I'm saying? Like deep in it, you know? And I was on the ball and I was just like, whoo, shoot, they're really intense and really close and i would lean back to just kind of like let it bear in a little bit more and then they're like do you want to try the bath i was like yes yes let's do that because i know the bath will relax me <laughs> so we go to walk in the bath i was like okay just had a contraction like let's do this i'm helping them take off my clothes like not my clothes but like i had the robes on i was like okay let's do this and i'm about to get into the freaking tub I, like climb into the tub and then I had a contraction. So I leaned over and kind of like was like bent like this, you know what I mean? And I started pushing like because the contraction, not because of me. The contractions will make you push on your own. Like you could fight it, but it's only going to hurt if you fight it. So like I didn't force it is what I'm trying to say. And I pushed three times and like water started squirting out more and like some blood, which when you're in this stage of labor, you're going to bleed. Um, And it's only like bad if you're like constantly bleeding. So it was just like yeah and then so right when it got done i was like okay let's get in the bath and then i started laboring in the bath i had like maybe three or four contractions no three contractions in the bath i could hear the nurses because i was trying to just like zone in right i could hear the nurses starting to prepare because they knew that i the way i was groaning because i wasn't groaning this whole time and they're like yeah we could tell by the way you sounded and those pushes that you had so they went to go prepare when i was in the restroom and I could hear them. And then my mom and my husband were just like there with me, calming me through. And they're like, you got this, come on. Like, being my cheerleaders. And then I was like, Ugh. and I was like, I feel like I have to push. I pushed again. And then they're like, okay. And then so, like the second contraction, I pushed and I was like, Ugh. it's kind of like the biggest dump of your life. And then the, <laughs> the last contraction, I was like, I thought I was just gonna have a normal contraction i didn't it was consistent and it was like it like went away a little bit but then i'm like oh shoot and then i felt like i started like feeling like i was just gonna take a dump right but since i've had kids before i was like maybe it's not just the dump the way i was positioned to in the bath it's like i'm over here slipping and sliding right and then i was like oh no and then i kept pushing because i was going with my body and just like letting it happen and i was like oh shoot her head the nurses were already there at that time because they heard the way i was sounding they're like just start prepping right here they like i was about to have her just in the like if i was able to get out i was about to have her in the in the restroom i was like oh her head so i got up really quickly and then they were i was trying to get out but my little legs i couldn't climb over so the midwife was like no just stay just stay like go back into the water and so i didn't understand her at first so i kind of like lingered there for a little bit and then i finally squatted down and pushed my baby's head out and then she's like okay come on and then the second contraction i pushed her body out and then i think it was just her her legs or just like part of her body that she's like come on one big push and I'm like, that one I did have to force because I didn't I didn't have a contraction. And I was like, ooh, it just pushed her body up. And I'm just like, bruh, what the fudge? I had a bath, a tub birth. And here they don't allow them. Unless obviously you can't get out. <laughs> so then 
they got her they grabbed her like do you want us to cut the cord and i said no i wanted a delayed cord cut and they're like okay okay but then they're like we we can't see how much you're bleeding we're gonna have to do something about the placenta can we please cut the cord i was like okay okay because since i was in the bath i was like okay fine yeah and so they prepped the cord and the door the cord was nice and thick then they got me out because they're like we need to we need to get this placenta out of you too they helped me out i went back into the bed so i could deliver the placenta she had two knots in the umbilical cord they gave me my baby to do skin to skin for as long as she could while the nurses and stuff were like checking her on me yeah she was breathing good right now she's in the NICU because she was breathing good on her own but she's breathing too fast and her glucose keeps going up and down because she's like working out too much but she wants to do it herself so bad like I just went to go visit her and you guys seen in the last clip and she has a thing on right here which it's it's just like pushing air in there to clear out anything in her lungs everything else is good it's just the fact that her even her oxygen levels are good but she keeps wanting to breathe like too fast and not like kind of go with it but they said it could take a few hours for them to allow it to happen and i was like little girl <laughs> look at you an overachiever like your mama <laughs> crazy crazy